Shelly Olson is one of many people trying to get through the loss of her Grand Lake home. I can't even tell you how traumatic it is. I walked through the rubble of my house. Yeah. It was awful. Yeah. Seeing her friend Shannon Schleip for the first time since the fires brought out even more emotion. But it's what Shannon and her friends have been up to since the fires that will forever define this community. I mean, Shannon and her family are a godsend to everyone. I can't, I did not realize what I was walking into when I saw this. I had no idea. What she walked into was a mass of items donated to help fire victims. Uh, we have a bit of a mess here, but it's gonna get organized today. Scattered all through the house and taking over the garage. Uh, we've got various piles, but it's women's clothes, shoes, little girls' clothes. Maybe some people don't even have the toothbrush. And, like, it's like, you know, there's toothbrushes right there. This started on social media to help out family and friends. My in-laws lost their home of 35, 40 years. Um, a lot of close friends lost their homes and everything. Some of them barely made it out. And there are additional full trailers on the way. It's the beginning of a rebirth here. It is the most traumatic thing I've ever, ever witnessed. Um, but having these people here to help us get through it has been amazing. So many of these items will head to the elementary school, where a lot of other donations are. I can't even believe all this. It's truly our community coming together. And Tragedy tightens bonds, and in this case, will no doubt create new ones. Hey, Shan, did I tell you that I love you? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Sean Toll, Denver 7. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.